I wanted to start over. I don't think anyone envisaged the past year. 2020 threw us all our fair share of curveballs. Whilst I don't think we're out of the woods quite yet, I can faintly see a glimmer of that light at the end of the tunnel and hopefully by this time next year, we can all laugh about it. In 2017, I decided that I wanted to go back to school. I was 24 by the time September rolled around and whilst I wasn't 18 anymore, I didn't have a mortgage, a husband or children to worry about. So I figured if not now, when? I feel simultaneously that time has stood still and eons have passed since I made the decision to undergo a degree. But whilst I battle with these feelings of unease and uncertainty, the reality is, in the words of Panic at the Disco, things have changed for me. I wanna work in a creative field, that much I do know. And whilst I'm in this in-between figuring it out, I wanted to put my best foot forward because frankly, I've been phoning it in. I feel in so many facets of my life, I haven't exactly been applying myself. Yet I've landed some pretty cool opportunities for this coming year and I really want to go for it. Relatively speaking, the past year has gone well for me. I've graduated, work is going really well, both myself and my loved ones have our health. I'm looking forward to moving through the next year with a new perspective and a can-do attitude. And I'm hoping that you'll come along for the ride. Twenty twenty was challenging, so for me, twenty twenty one is going to be full of challenges. Not the kind of YouTube challenges like drive a hot knife through a Chanel bag or spend a pound a day, but not really spend a pound a day type of challenges, but personal challenges nonetheless. For the first month, I wanted to do a challenge for myself. Now, me sitting here today, this is arguably the hardest challenge for me, and it's get eight hours of sleep a night. I know it sounds really, really simple, and in part. That's why it's so frustrating to me. But my entire adult life, I have not been able to nail the recommended eight hours of sleep every night. My relationship with sleep is strained at best. You throw in shift work and an infatuation for caffeine and you get over a decade of irregular sleep. It's something that I haven't taken seriously before until now. Um, and even if this just turns out to be a fun little experiment, my top one priority for January is to get eight hours of sleep every single night. Rest assured, I'll let you know how it all goes uh, next month. Um, and this month, my videos are kind of gonna be focused around self-care, because I think we all need to be a little bit softer with ourselves with the year that we've all just had. So it's gonna be a little bit of a self-care theme, a self-care vibe. But anyway, I look forward to it. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Happy New Year to you all, and I shall see you soon. All my love. Bye. Bleh.